I'm really looking forward to the iPhone because uh, at least as far as this summer goes, uh, it is one of the high points uh, in terms of new products that will be coming out. But uh, what also makes the, uh, the iPhone uh, very interesting this time is that it's a cell phone that's not made by a traditional cell phone manufacturer. And I think that's why there's a lot more excitement about it because it's being made by Apple. And because it's being made by Apple, it's going to be cool. I think that people are actually quite frustrated with their cell phones. And we have an interesting problem here because not only are people frustrated, but they also say that if there's one device they can't live without, it's their cell phone. Uh, and for the, the more younger you are, the higher the chances that you will say that you can't live without your cell phone. So Apple is certainly capitalizing. And I think the fact that it's Apple making a cell phone and not a cell phone manufacturer making this iPhone that it's going to be quite different from what we've expected. Apple has a great sense of design and functionality and beauty, and I think it'll come out in the phone. Um, the only question mark has less to do with the design of the phone than its ability to work well on certain other features. If you look at smartphones today and try going on the internet, it's, a, it's an okay experience. It's not a bad experience. Uh, you can get Google Maps. I can get Google Maps on my Trio and uh, get directions very easily. I can access my email. But it's still not a satisfying experience or as satisfying an experience as it is when I'm, say, on my PC. The iPhone claims that it will be not this mini internet or a mobile internet. Instead, it's going to be a full-blown internet experience that you would expect on your PC. Now, that is very ambitious, okay? especially considering that the iPhone won't even be working on the fastest 3G network that AT&T will have. The goal that Apple has set for itself is that they want to sell 10 million units by the end of 2008. Now, that is a very aggressive goal. But it, it is achievable if the screen works as they've advertised and you can get corporate IT departments to accept it and so that users can access corporate email. I think it's definitely an achievable goal. But we have to be careful. This is not going to replace all cell phones. Maybe 10 years down the road, that's maybe where we may be headed. But within the next year or two, it's only within the smartphone category. That, that this is playing in. And smartphones make up a very small percentage of the total cell phones that are sold. So it remains to be seen whether they'll be able to deliver. But I think in just, from what we've seen of Apple over the last 10 years, I think the bets are that it will be a very elegantly designed machine.